Oh. I'm out of power. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're out of power. Hello guys and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Today is gonna be all about all about oil production and the first order of business is to find all the oil we have on this planet and bring it into one location. But before we do, we need to pave over some of the world around the equator. You can click um, on these, you can click shift and you can take one block or you can hold control and take the whole thing. Well, let's go. Okay, that will be enough for concrete. Now this serves two purposes. One, it just looks nice when you have a strip of concrete straight around the globe. But two, it helps you to orient yourself where you are on the planet. Because sometimes you fly around and like, oh shit, where am I? And then you find this strip of concrete and you're like, okay, I know where I am. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Now let's go and find all the oil we have on this planet. Oh yeah, and I also forget to address how ridiculous my mecha looks with just built out legs. Okay, we have found all the all 12 veins that we need for red science production. Uh so now really tedious work of putting all the belts in and bringing all crude oil to one place. And this right here is my quick charge station. We don't want to run out of fuel. So before we actually bring all the oil in, we need to know where we're going to bring that oil in set up oil refineries so this these things where you are gonna set up a certain build it it takes some planning so it's not like oh i'm just gonna build it here yeah you can do that but to make things organized in dyson sphere program so that it's easier for you and more pleasing to look at it looks nice and it's functional it takes some time plan ahead of where you're gonna build what so I'm gonna build 24 of oil refineries we're gonna leave one gap in between them they can stick in one belt so we're building 12 in one row and then we're gonna build 12 in another row. Now there is a reason why we do it this way because we will need two inputs of crude oil and 12 is, 12 is really maximum you can fit in with one Mach 1 belt. We're gonna add 12 on the other side. You can press tab and you change the spacing in between the refineries. This isn't really necessary, but I've, it's just my OCD. I wanted, I just wanted to look nice. So yeah.
and we're definitely going to need to set up some more power. And I know all these the belts, the way I'm building them right now for the oil, it's not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. The oils, the oil veins are scattered all over the globe and it's Ah, oh, it will be a pain in the ass to build them really nice looking so they don't get in the way of anything. So that's um, quite um, impossible, I want to say. Well, nothing is impossible, but it's not worth the effort. So I'm just building them any way I can. However, I like to make the belts look somewhat organized when we're getting closer to the base. Everything that is like outside, um, it's gonna be a little bit messy, and that's okay. At least for me, it's okay. Now I also want to connect all the all the all the power together, so everything is on one grid. So apparently when your back your mecha is an empty battery, it just sits in the water. Huh. Okay. You learn something new, I guess. Windmills everywhere. Bam. To be honest, I don't I don't really much like the look of these wind turbines. But yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, especially in the early game, there's no other way of uh, doing it. Well, there is, but we can, do a little, we can do that a little later. Okay, we have set it up, but only with three um, oil extractors per belt. I mean, it's not going to be enough for all 24 of um, oil refineries, but it's actually an overkill and we don't need that many oil refineries for the early game, but well, just preparing for the future, so yeah. So let's go with setting these up. This is something I hate a little bit. Um, when you get closer to the falls, like here you can set Tesla Tower right next to refinery. As you go further, here you cannot anymore. You have to go one one tile over. So it's kinda it kinda sucks. Oh yeah, and you can you can press this thingy right here when items are not organized in your inventory. Just click this one and they become organized. I hope you guys know that already. If you just in case if you didn't. So one container here will be for refined oil, and the other one will be for hydrogen. I just realized something. I should have placed the towers in the middle it's not a big deal but um it's a OCD thing I'm not really OCD but I just I don't know just just want to make things look nice and compact and there you go much better so the way I'm building it I'm putting a belt in every other in between every other oil refinery because one this belt is just gonna take one of the outputs it's gonna take refined oil and then the other belt will take just hydrogen it will make sense in a second and inside the tank now we can do the same thing on 
the other side. Now the belt for hydrogen. And I get another tip here for you. So when you place one of your belts over the other belt and you press up, it is now one level high. But you bring that belt over another belt, it goes back down. So you can hold shift and then it just stays over the belt. Now this is this is life changing. I discovered this too early in my game. So yeah, uh, I hope you already knew, but if you didn't, there you go. On this one, so you don't get confused. I build one belt low, which will be only for oil, and the other belt is just going to be for hydrogen. And it's going to go on the upper belt. So when you're building it, building this out, less likely that you could um, make a mistake. Crude oil input. Now I'm not going to set it up all of them individually. I'm going to set up one on this side, and then one on this side. And now it's working. Dude, the graphics are amazing. This game is awesome. So now we're going to build sorters on this side. This side. So this is the lower belt. It's going to be only the refined oil. So as you click, it gives you two options here. You have to press tab. To switch in between so which one do you want to go out here the hydrogen or the refined oil if you don't set any and it stays on none both of the materials are gonna come out on the same belt so make sure you do this I have made this mistake so many times although I'm aware of it I know it I still sometimes forget to click on one of out of 40 50 um, oil refineries you forget one and then your whole line is messed up so I'm gonna go through how not to make that mistake so you set up here and to be sure you can see the oil is coming out right so then you go on the other side and here you set hydrogen let it finish building. Where are my drones? Oh, I'm out of power. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're out of power. Luckily, we are not that far from. This would be horrible if you're really far from where your power is or where your um, fuel is this would be a horrible gameplay you would you would spend maybe 20 30 minutes or whatever to get to fuel source so yeah always keep some extra in your inventory okay, there we go fast charging let's take some more So when one is finished, you also want to copy the recipe from this one onto this one. And here it's going to be the other way around. On this side, it's going to be hydrogen. And on this side, it's going to be oil. I always double check myself. So now you're going to click on this first building. You're going to hold shift, click it. Now you copied the building and now you're going to po post 
post post post this um building onto ah i see i made a mistake here we'll remove this one and we're gonna set it one down so here oil okay now we copy it and we place it here and it's gonna place everything at once with the recipe on the building and the filters on the sorter already just remember you don't paste it well you could even you pose this one on every other building now you copy the second one and post on And then the same thing on the other side. Now we're done with the oil setup and hydrogen setup. So this is very clean, very compact, very easy to understand. I hope. Um, yeah. There is obviously, you have to keep in mind the ratios. Like if you have too many of something or not enough of, not enough of something, you're going to have bottlenecks and then you have to fix things. I think this one is pretty much spot on. Um, obviously, we don't we don't have enough we don't have enough oil. Why is this not working? So it's not receiving enough. Ah, it's, uh, see what I did. We always make mistakes. I didn't put inserters on all of the refineries. So yeah, we're done with uh, the oil setup. And this is the hardest part about the red science is building the oil refinery setup to produce hydrogen. If we look at what red science needs, needs um, hydrogen and it needs um, energetic graphite. Energetic graphite is so easy to make. It's all over the map, but this one is a little bit of pain in the ass especially in the beginning if you haven't played the game before but once you have this set up you have enough of it red science is easy to do um yeah and i'm gonna go over the red science and the blue science that i have set up on the next episode should be up in in a day or two that's it for today if you enjoy yes yes Icarus, i know it's time don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, it means a lot. That is if you enjoy the content and I suppose if you made it this far in the video, you do. So please do that and with that, I'm out. Bye bye.